Okay, here we are. Almost done. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you that I noticed, I was looking at my um, version I had done before I started this movie, and this version, I forgot to turn back on my levels uh, adjustment. You can see how it was dark before, and it's just lighter now. I forgot to do that, so don't forget to do that like I just did uh, before you save it for the web. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do now is, I've got my image, it looks great, perfectly white background. Uh, I remember to turn back on the levels layer, which brightens it up, and uh, I'm ready to go. So, what I want to do is, uh, file, well, no, first I want to size it down because it's really big. So, I want to go to image size, and I'm going to save this one at 600 pixels wide. Um, and do that. It makes it look a lot smaller, but that's because it's at 33% right here. So I'm going to make it full size, 100%. And so that looks really good. It looks awesome. The uh, only other thing I want to do before I, um, before I save it is go to, I want to sharpen it a little bit. When you size images down, sometimes they get a little bit like blurry. Um, and little edges that should be sharp and really contrasty, they're a little blurry and just kind of soft. So we need to sharpen that up. But you don't ever want to do... You don't ever want to sharpen your image and then do something else. You always want to have sharpening be the very last thing that you do. So uh, the way to sharpen is you go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. It sounds weird, but that's really what you do. So you can probably see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but that sharpened it up quite a bit. Um, and it's my settings right now are 38%, 1.3 pixel radius, and the threshold of zero. Um, I probably can get away with bumping this percentage up a little bit on this particular patch. I uh, know that's too much. Let me bring it down to about eh, 40 is good. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but if I turn this off and on, you may have to just do this on your own and see the the effect. But it's like it's almost like a photograph that's just tiny bit out of focus, and then it's like it snaps and it's really sharp. Everything looks really great. And it, the, on patches, this really makes the thread stand out big time. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click OK because that looks just how I want it, and that looks great. I'm <laughs> really happy with how that came out. So now to save it for the web, I'm just gonna go File, Save for Web, and this brings up. Uh, it takes a second, but it brings up my special Save for Web um, little thing here, and it shows on this side. The way I have it set up is to have the original here, and on this side I have the uh, the JPEG that it's going to spit out. So uh, I just check to make everything, make sure everything is cool. And the preset that I use always, like almost all the time, is JPEG high uh, because it makes a nice small, relatively small file size, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, and so that that um, does JPEG high, and then it makes it at 60 quality, and that's my favorite one. I love that setting. Uh, so click uh, click enter. And, or save and it does that and so now I'm going to um, this is where I want it I want to put it in JPEGs here this is where I've been saving stuff and I'm going to save it right in there um, and there we go it's saved and so now I have a version um, that is actually in this folder here and here is my version that I just saved it's 600 pixels wide, and it's only 92 kilobytes, which is a great size. And let me just open this up and preview for you, and you can see that it looks great. It looks really good. Um, so this is perfect. I can upload this to the wiki, and it'll be ready to go. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know, ben at scouthistory.net, and I'll be happy to help you. All right, thanks.